go to gradient map. We are asked to solve for this problem. We are to find the area of the shaded region, the yellow region. Okay, so okay, so first step that we have to do is we label the figure. So we label this as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and let's call this H. So first thing, calculate it. So that is E F square, since it is a square, is equal to 3 plus 1. So E F equal to square root of 4 E F is equal to 2 C M. And as we can see, since this is a square, EF is equal to DF equal to G, GD, DG or DG equal to G equal, equal to 2 centimeters. So next thing that we have to do is we focus on this trapezoid h e f d and the area is 3 square centimeters so the area of a trapezoid is area is equal to 1 half times height times b1 plus b2 so in this case area is equal to 3 to one half and the height is EF and B1 is HE plus B2 which is DF so if we substitute what we got earlier EF is equal to 2 and HE is the unknown Okay, so H E plus D F, which is two. So this cancels out. Then three is equal to H E plus two. So H E is equal to three minus two. So H E equal to one. So this is one. Next thing we have to do is we focus on the line GE. So we know that GE is equal to 2 centimeters. But GE is equal to GH plus HE. And Knowing that G is 2, we will find GH here, plus with HE which is 1. So GH is equal to 2 minus 1. GH is equal to 1 centimeters. Okay, so next thing that we have to focus on is this triangle here, GHD. Okay, so notice that it is a right triangle since it is from a square. So it's a right triangle. So we can simply say that HD square is equal to GH square plus GD square. So HD is equal to square root of but GH is equal to 1 square plus GD, which is 2 square. So HD is equal to the square root of 1 plus 4. So HD is equal to the square root of 5 centimeters. Okay, so 
Next thing we have to do is we need to prove the triangle AEH is similar to triangle GHD. Right. So, how do we prove that? We can prove that by a a a theorem or angle 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 theorem, which says that if the angles of the triangle those of two triangles are the same, then their sides are proportional to each other. So. If we prove that they are similar, then we can use the fact that their sides are proportional. So let's prove that. So first thing we observe on this on the two triangles A E H angle A H E is equal to angle G H D because because these two angles are vertical angles and knowing that they are two right triangles angle H A E A E and angle D G H is equal to 90 because they are two right triangles the sum of the angles of any triangle is 184 angle a h e is equal to triangle g h d 180 degrees is equal to 180 degrees for triangle a h e we have angle H A E plus angle A E H plus angle E H A equal to angle G H D plus angle H D G plus angle D G H. Okay, so H A E is equal to ninety. And same with angle DGH, 90 degrees. So is AEH plus angle AHE equal to what GHD is equal to AHE. A H E and H D G. So if we simplify this, we have we have to cancel this 90 degrees and this A H E cancels out and we can say that A E H is equal to angle H D G. So we have proven that the three angles of each triangle, the three corresponding angles of each triangle are equal, then the two triangles are proportional in terms of their sides, so and the triangles are similar. G D over H D equals A E over H E. But we know that GD is 2 and HD is square to 5 equal to AE, which is the unknown. HD is equal to 1. So we have AE equal to 2 over square to 5. So rationalizing that 2 square to 5, square to 5, this becomes AE is equal to. 2 square root of 5 over 5. AE is 2 square root of 5 over 5. So for AH, we have, we simply say GH over GD. 
is equal to AH over AE. GH is equal to 1. GD is equal to 2. AH is unknown. And AE is 2 square to 5 over 5. So simply multiply to get AH. AH is equal to 1 half times 2 square to 5 over 5. So we have AH is equal to square to 5 over 5. Yeah. Okay, so next step is we need to find the area of area of triangle AEH. Okay, so this is one half of the base or times height. So but this is AE and AH. So area triangle AEH equal to one half times that is AE is equal to two square to five over five in the square root of five over five for AH. So we have this cancels out and this cancels out. So area of triangle AEH is equal to 1 over 5 square centimeters. Okay, so next thing is we need to focus on the square ABCD. We need to find the area of square A, B, C, D. And that is the side of this square squared. So the side is equal to A, H plus H, D squared. So A, H is equal to square root of 5 over 5. And H, D is equal to square root of 5. Okay, so square that. If we simplify this, we have 5 square root of 5 plus 5 divided by 1 is equal to 5. That is 5 square root of 5 squared. So we have 6 square root of 5 over 5 squared. So if we simplify this, we have 36 times square root of 5 square over 5 squared which is 25 so we have this 5 and 5 cancels out cancels here so we have 36 over 5 or 36 over 5 a square cm okay so for the final step we are to calculate the area of the shaded region. We can call it area of E, B, C, D, F equal to uh, the area of the square, which is area of A, B, C, D, and minus the area of the small triangle A, E, H minus the area of the trapezoid, the area of H, E, F, D. Okay, so area of the, the square is equal to 36 over 5 minus area of the triangle, which is 1 over 5 minus this trapezoid which is 3 so we have 5 36 minus 1 5 divided by 1 is equal to 5 times 315 so we have this becomes 20 over 5 so simplifying we have 4 square 
square centimeter the area of the shaded region a e b c d f and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of this video please like the video if you like our solution and please subscribe to the channel for more math videos and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos thank you bye